What up, this is Rama Screen, covering movies, TV, and entertainment. I'm here at the LA Film Festival 2018, and I just saw one of the funniest movies of the year last night. I had a blast called Ghost Light, and I'm here with one of the stars of the film, Roger Bart, and director John Stimson, and co-screenwriter Jeffrey Teller. How you doing, everybody? Good? Doing great. great. Yeah. All right. Uh, John, let me start with you, and, and Jeff as well. Uh, what's the inspiration behind this story? How'd you come up with it? Well, this came from my past in the theater. I, I was an actor in my early life, and I did a lot of shows and spent a lot of time backstage and, and thinking about and ruminating about the crazy superstitions in the theater, which are, are amazing, and, and the stories run so deep. And I, I just thought it would be really fun to explore uh, what is probably the most famous superstition, the, the the curse of the Scottish play, uh, and uh, so I I'd, I'd written a little a little treatment for it, and I'd been kicking it around for a few years, and I, I we were at a Red Sox game uh, a couple of years ago, and and I, I I pitched Jeff this idea, and he really lit up about it, and and it's a, a way we went, and um, so so that's where it came from. Speaking of superstitions, right, with the Red Sox. Right. Don't exactly. Curse. Well, that. Yeah. Well, hopefully we broke that yeah. curse. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and Roger, you too have a theater background, right? I'm from Broadway, and uh, did you pull from that uh, for this approach? Oh, absolutely. You know, it, 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 I watched the film last night, and I was reminded that that I'd had many nightmares that some of the characters in the play at, at times become fooled by some of the of the uh, of, of the. Uh, the terrible stuff that happened as a, as a result of the um, uh, curse, and uh, they don't they don't can't make the the costume changes in time. So I certainly understand that. And frankly, I've been doing theater for about thirty years, and all these superstitions that that we celebrate and we explore and we uh, we're, we're we're putting on the screen in in Ghost Light, um, we all really pay close attention to it. You, you still in the theater? We can't. No one says this. Scottish play's name, and if you do, you do have to leave the theater. You have to go, or you have to walk around it three times, or sometimes we would just make them spin around because we'd have to get the show on, and we we they'd have to spit, and they would have to knock on the door, and we'd let them back in. And you know, it it was funny, but it was also there was always a sense of like, but you know, we respected it, and we it 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 has remained that way for for. For I guess probably hundreds of years, right? Absolutely. You know, it's amazing. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and Jeff, um, could you tell a bit about hitting the the right note for the comedy or the humor of it? Because I know there are a couple of people. Uh, there's a couple who was busy making out. <laughs> there's there's one actor who's calling, uh, who's waiting for his call back. Can we talk a bit about uh, trying to find the the right jokes for this movie? Well, I, I mean, yes, uh, the comedy, I think, comes out of character, which I, I usually find good comedy does come out of character. So if you build a character, uh, you can get them to be funny. And that situationally, it's um, it's sort of a, uh, you have a great situation to play off. Actors trapped, suddenly having some really bad juju go down, and uh, um, they are not only ill-equipped, but they're eccentric. So... Hopefully that gets funny. I, I, I think that the comedy was working um, and that people definitely see the characters. They like them. So when they say something odd or funny, you know, they get it. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, you know, you can't just give somebody a joke. You have to understand why that joke comes from them and why they, they why, what's their attitude and it, it, it amplifies the humor always. So hopefully it worked. Thank you. Um, this is for uh, Roger and John. Um, the character Henry, the director, yeah, um, says this to Tom Riley. Like, I, I know that other guy's less talented, but he's got the dough. We got to go where the money is. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, with this movie, <laughs> are you trying to say something about the business itself? Like, uh, that, that, does it work like that in the real life? Like, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll let John answer that. <laughs> Well, you know, yeah, <laughs> to a certain degree, yes. I mean, it's always funny. Uh, casting, for example, is a very political process. There's lots of things that go into uh, who, who gets a part in a in a movie or a play uh, that aren't that don't necessarily have to do with who has the best audition or who's the best actor. So um, 
you know, that, that's funny that you mentioned that. It's, it wasn't a conscious thing uh, that, or a commentary that we were making necessarily. But, uh, but yeah, casting is, a, is an interesting and, and difficult sometimes process. But um, we were, I was thrilled with the cast that we were able to pull together for this movie. It was just terrific. And, uh, and you know, Rogers being the cornerstone of it, it was, uh, it was just terrific to see that actors of, of the caliber of our cast responded to our script. And I think that's, that is, you know, felt really good for me and, and for Jeff as the writers of this thing. So. Well, I'm not going to let you off the hook, Roger. I want to ask, like, a, <laughs> like uh, have you ever worked with a director like Henry before? Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Directors like myself? None, none is good. <laughs> How do you deal with that uh, situation? That, what do you mean? With, with, with a director like Henry that's like, oh, uh, you got to go where the money is. And it's like, where's that? You know, well, you, you know, the, the, the primary objective is to put on the play. You know, we uh -huh. want to, you know, and the, the way to look at it is, and I've been in this situation before, you, you know, if it gets... 10 people employed and we can put on a show and that show ends up kind of mm. uh, uh, entertaining a, a, a few hundred or a few thousand, um, then it's worth uh, maybe the person who it has the wallet who doesn't quite understand what's going on. <laughs> um, at the same time, you know that they wouldn't be there if they didn't love uh, uh, the, the performance, the theater, and putting a, or making a movie or anything. So the, the, the heart is always, uh, it, they, they may not necessarily understand everyone's sensibility, um, but their, their heart and their intentions are so good that it's always worth uh, 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 doing anything to, to get the show made. So that's why. It's another way of looking at it. My final question is for, for John here. Um, so we're here at the LA Film Festival in celebrating independent cinema. Uh, so talk a bit about the challenges and the joy of independently making this film and what's your advice for aspiring filmmakers out there? Good question. Well, uh, I'm a Massachusetts filmmaker. I live and work in, in, uh, in outside of Boston. And uh, every project I've done has been... Um, its own challenge and its own struggle and its own reward when it's finished um, in that it's like starting a business over and over again. You got to come up with an idea. You got to figure out how you're going to finance that idea. You got to sell people. You got to bring people in. You got to build your, your, your team. And then ultimately you have to sell your product. And, um, and I, I love it. I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. Uh, it's, it's such a wonderfully fulfilling uh, career. And I've, I've been very lucky to, to be able to do what I do in Massachusetts, where my home and my family are. And, um, and we have a wonderful crew of, 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 of fellow filmmakers in Massachusetts that's just growing and growing due to the, the tax credit now in, in the state. And it's been great. But uh, as far as advice for filmmakers that want to do what we do, I think it just it takes it takes passion it takes drive it takes ambition it, it, it a tireless um, <laughs> hard work uh, and uh, and finding ideas that resonate finding stories that that people can grab hold of and and enjoy and uh, and paying paying very good and close attention to the the writing it's there's the, there's lots of great ideas that just aren't ex executed well and if they're not if they don't deliver it's going to be really hard to sell them so thinking in terms of the business of the business that ultimately this is a commodity that that to do it again you're going to want to sell it and and make money for your investors uh, and and hopefully um, and build a team that will then roll over their money and do it again with you. And that's, that's the dream. So that means coming up with good ideas that are executed well. So I guess that's the best I can come up with on that, but yeah. that makes sense. Can I add one? Yes. This is, just came out yesterday. Um, I, it, the motto is really, as a producer, you never stop producing. And that's, that's up till uh, the thing is so out of your control at the end. But yesterday, for instance, John and I driving to the premiere, stopped to get uh, water for our guests and a cooler <laughs> because we knew we had to make sure the people coming to the theater 
or is in good a place as possible if it's too hot you know so you have to produce and it's it's such a broad panoply of things that that it ma goes into making your project work and that's just anecdotal I thought it was sort of funny mm -hmm. John we like to say John and I do everything including the dishes which is <laughs> which is true <laughs> Thank you, sir. well gentlemen congratulations again on ghost light one of my favorite movies of the year now officially yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for your time